manipulation tactics that you can use enticing hatred everyone has the capacity for aggression all it takes is some motivation and encouragement to bring their anger to fruition you firstly need to find out what the person hates and despises look for anything that triggers their anger and look at the root cause some root causes of anger are disrespect unfairness jealousy and failed expectations Understanding the root causes allows you to easily analyze anger in others, and enables you to create a situation that arouses anger in people. Once your targets are riled up, you can direct this hatred towards someone or something. You could show your support and encouragement to your target, saying that they are right and should do something about it. Also be sure to remind them about the bad things that happened to them, so you can keep fueling their hatred towards a specific target. Johan, when he was a child, manipulated people using their anger. Since he has a great understanding of hatred in humans, he was able to manipulate people into killing each other at the orphanage. Guilt tripping. Many people have wrongdoings they're not proud of. So you can get people to feel obligated to do something by instilling guilt. A simple way of causing guilt in someone is by simply telling them all the mistakes they've made. One of the fundamentals of guilt tripping is destroying their own self-image. Many people like seeing themselves as a good person. But if these beliefs are destroyed, they will start submerging themselves in their own misery and guilt. After this your victim will be more prone to your advice and suggestions. In the case of Johan, he informs Richard of all the bad things he has done, exposing the lie that he keeps telling himself and that he tells to others. Johan also brings up the daughter he cares about, which causes even more destruction of his moral self-image, making Richard drown in his own feelings of guilt. Evoke fear. Scared people are easy to control and can't think rationally, which is why instilling fear in people is a powerful tool. You need to put your target in a situation where they face uncertainty and feel fragile. For example, you could use your status and position, threatening people with negative consequences. You can also use direct methods to cause fear, by actually putting your target in physical danger. The more bad consequences you can push on them, the more fear can fill their mind, significantly hinder their thinking abilities and cause your targets to panic. Johan uses this tactic by starting a fire and trapping his victims, effectively causing terror and panic in people. Broken dreams. When a person's plans or goals don't come true, they tend to become miserable and sad. Show your victim a demonstration of why their hopes and dreams are not possible. You can even secretly sabotage them when they're trying to achieve their desires. The main point is to make them see a cruel and unhappy reality. The more negative stimulus you provide them, the more discouraged they will become. Eventually the person will give up on pursuing their desire. In one situation, Johan finds an orphan. This kid has the desire to be with his mother, but Johan starts planning the idea that he may be an unwanted child, slowly easing him into hopelessness and despair. So when the kid goes to the red light district to search for his mother, he starts thinking about what Johan said, witnessing many unpleasant things that proves Johan's point, causing the kid to give up on his dream of finding his mother because of the despair he's experiencing. Thanks for watching Vevn7.